Oh, dang, even better. Seemed to me once you guys got out of the zone, you were much better. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, every time I say, you know, this, uh, this, this team's a zone candidate. We're, we're going zone. We're going zone. Then we work on it and do pretty well. And, you know, someone hit me if I say we're going zone again. But uh, we, we were. We were much better. I, I probably shouldn't have started in it. Um, yeah, and, and they did a nice job. But, uh, you know, we got out of the zone. Um, we were icing the ball screens in the first half, and I didn't like the way that was going either. And, you know, second half we made the adjustment of getting out of the zone, uh, body and under the ball screens, and I think that was really effective. And so they couldn't get to the rim. Uh, yeah, and I think that's where we went on our run. I mean, I think the first media, they didn't have any field goals. They were all free throws. And uh, we, we still have to do a better job keeping them off the line. But those are two of the bigger adjustments I can think of that really helped our team uh, that we made at halftime. Well, and you know what? She needs to shoot the basketball. So she'll have shooting nights where it's not great, but you're exactly right. She's one of our best scorers, and there's no question. And we'll run some stuff for her, and she'll create some stuff for herself. And I thought the biggest thing with Antisha today is she took good, balanced shots. And she got fouled on some of them, and she's our best free throw shooter. She's shooting 80-plus percent from the line. So anytime she's there, I know it's going in. And, uh, you know, you look at her line, too. It's, it's uh, 9 for 10. She had four rebounds, four assists, and three turnovers. And that's just a really good stat line for a guard. Yeah, you know, it, it, they're a tough team to guard because they'll just take it at you and, and put the ball up and, and hope to get a foul. And, and they're good. They're a good team. But, you know, they're a lot like us sometimes in, in terms of outside shooting. So they do a nice job of going hard to the basket. And, you know, you can debate a couple of those. But, I mean, we just can't get them on the line. And I thought some of it was the offensive rebounding. I thought we were standing in front of them, but we weren't boxing them out. So if they go over you, it's not a foul. And I thought a couple times they did that. But aside from them in the line, and what did they get, 14 points? No, 18 points at the free throw line. I, I, I think uh, we've got to clean that up the next time we play them. And, and uh, other than that, you know, giving up 20 points in the second half was awfully good. I thought our defense was really good today. Sharice's performance, too. I mean, yeah, better every time she is. She's getting more and more confident. I think she gets down on herself too much if she plays with her perception, if she plays bad, and she's not playing bad at all. She might miss a shot here or there. She might airball a shot here or there. The kid's a freshman, and I can't ask her to do any more because she's given me everything she has. And again tonight, she had nine points the last game. She had 10 points, three assists, one turnover, you know, two rebounds. She's got to get in there a little bit more. But, I mean, she filled up the stat sheet, and – you know, oh, she's 0 for 1 from the free throw line. I'll get her on that one. But uh, yeah, I just think that that kid for a freshman is awfully good, and I think she's going to be really good. I know it's just one game, but you talk a lot about protecting your, your home floor. How big was this? It's huge. And, and you're right. I mean, it, for us, it's not just one game. You know, when you go on a two-game losing streak, even though it's on the road, it's in conference, it still hurts. So to come home and protect your home court, you had to do that. And... I think they took it upon themselves. I really credit the kids. Uh, they took it upon themselves in the second half to say, okay, enough's enough. And uh, we're digging in and, and we're doing everything we can to try to do this against a, a very good opponent. Talk a little bit about uh, Utah State and what you, what you know about them. I yeah, I know nothing. <laughs> I have no idea. I haven't even seen them play against a common opponent non conference on film. So that'll be my assignment tonight and tomorrow. Um, you know, they lost Barstow and, and Williams, their two best players. They both quit in, in the middle of the year, so I don't know what happened there. And I'm not sure who's doing what for them. I, I know they'd struggled a little bit, but they're going to play hard. Uh, and I'm not sure how they did tonight, but I wish I could give you more. I just have nothing. <laughs> You know what? Khadija with a leg and a half is is better than no Khadija at all. And I, I try to limit her minutes except for the second half. I'm like, look, you got to go. <laughs> and and she did. You know, I know she was limping. Uh, we've all been there. 
and she was just toughed it out. And she won't practice tomorrow. She'll get rehab. She'll ice that thing till she's her entire body's blue. Uh, and um, you know we'll need her again for Saturday. But Khadija, just you just see what a difference she makes. The, the kid's an All Conference player. There's no question. And and you know she just makes a difference. And so physical, you know, and then you have someone like Khadija that says, yeah, I can be physical too. And that's exactly it. Their posts are good. Their posts are big body post players who catch the ball. They have vice grips for hands and they go up strong and they go up hard. And, you know, that was a lot of why we put them at the free throw line. And their guards did a nice job. And, uh, you know, I thought we responded a little bit better in the second half. But like you pointed out, we gave, we still gave up too many free throws. We didn't. <laughs> you know, I think a lot of it is we started off in that zone. I, I messed them up a little bit by doing that. We should have just started in man, and and then our energy was was a little bit low. Um, our kids are starting to get, and I'm seeing it. They're starting to get a lot of confidence in their outside shot, and not just the obvious. You know, Antisha, Bryce is starting to get confidence. Linnea, Sharice. Um, you know, some of our kids that are coming in, they're starting to get confidence. And, and you see what a difference, like I said, Khadija made. That last one, she just turned and faced from about 10 feet and knocked it down. And that was a huge shot uh, with about a minute left, I think, or something like that. So uh, our kids are really starting to get confident. You shoot 41%. That's decent. We know we're still not a three-point shooting team, but we knocked four down today. And, you know, I mean, I'd like our percentage to be a little bit different, but – it's funny, like Steve Fisher said last night, the, hey, I asked him, do you want to shoot this many threes? He said, I do if we make them. <laughs> and it's, it's the same thing. You know, I don't mind shooting it from behind the arc, but they're starting to get confident in making them. How do you use a, a win like this now to, to try and build off yeah. that Yeah, that's a great question. You have to. You have to build the momentum. The, the, the fans and the crowd were fantastic, and they really gave us a push, especially when we needed one. I mean, it was... It was a little quiet there, and I didn't blame them. Um, but this has to be a carryover. We played well at home, especially the second half and how we played. I thought we played exceptionally well. You have 11 turnovers in the game, 13 assists, 11 turnovers, with a team that pressed us. You know, that, that's really, really good. And, I, I, uh, I, like I said, I applaud the team for that. They had seven assists and 18 turnovers. Uh, I, I just really – it was a gut check win for these kids, and they did an excellent job. No song and dance? Tippy tappy with a song in my head? No. Oh, God.